Hey guys, you're watching Dansky, and in the next two minutes, you're going to learn how to add a delicious foggy atmosphere to any photo in Photoshop. Rightio, so we're now in Photoshop, and you can see I've opened up an image. The first thing I'm going to do is go and add an adjustment layer, select solid color, and just pick any color for now and click OK. Next, I'm going to hide this layer and double click on the thumbnail. I can now pick a color from my scene that I would like my atmospheric fog to be. And given that this image is of a desert and deserts have sand, I'm gonna go with yellow because sand is yellow or maybe orange. Let's all disagree in the comments. Next, I can select the mask and then press Command or Control I to invert the mask. And this will turn the mask black and consequently hide that layer. Next, from the bottom of the toolbar, let's click the foreground color and change this to white all the way in the top left corner. Next, grab your brush tool, and from the drop down at the top, you can go to General Brushes and pick a nice soft round pressure opacity brush, and then adjust the size using the slider at the top, or you can also adjust the size using the left and right square brackets on your keyboard. So let's make that brush a bit bigger and have some fun. Oh, oh no, not like that, not that kind of fun. So as you can see, this is terrible. So we'll just undo that quickly. And before we try again, go up to the top of the screen and bring the flow down to somewhere between two and 5%, nice and low. Next, throw on a tune and gently brush in your atmospheric fog. Okay, so it's looking pretty good. However, if you would like to do the opposite and remove some fog, you can use the color black. And if you press X on the keyboard, it will quickly swap your foreground and background color, making this process a lot quicker. Now to truly appreciate the magnificence of what you've just done, turn off and then back on your adjustment layer to truly see the impact this has on your scene. And because it's an adjustment layer, we can go and change the color to anything we like. And if it's just a little bit too much, you can bring the opacity down just to make this effect a little bit less intense. And there we go, that wraps up the video. So hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you did, why not subscribe for more, ring the bell for notifications, take care, and I'll see you next time.